Hi, this is Richard here from the evohomeshop.co.uk. This video is going to go over some troubleshooting um, points. So for a, a newly bound Evo Home system, uh, if the BDR91s are not operating or things like the hot water um, area hasn't got the temperature showing and it's showing an hourglass, there's a few little uh, helpful tips that you can do to remedy the issues, okay? So let's start with the hourglass showing. So if, if you've got an hourglass showing like this, you've just paired the Eva Home system up, heating and hot water, S or Y plan system. Um, first thing I would do here is I would uh, take the batteries out the CS92A, okay? So if you go to the CS92A, take the, um, the cover off it like this, and then if you take one of the batteries out, like so, take the battery out, okay? And then wait about 10 seconds, put the battery back in, and then if you then, within about 30 seconds to a minute, you should see the temperature um, now displayed on the Eva Home controller, okay? So it can take like 30 seconds to a minute, okay? but that will normally fix that issue okay so after you've done that and the temperature's being displayed here this should be showing the temperature of the cylinder okay so what we normally set cylinders to is 60 degrees okay so out the box evo comes set to 50 and that may be a reason why you're if you're testing the hot water side why your hot water bdr91 might not be coming on okay so if you go into the settings menu system parameters, stored hot water, okay? And then if you look at the temperature, you'll see 50 degrees has been set. So what I wanna do, I'm just gonna put that up to 60, like so, green tick. So you now say it's set to 60. I don't know if you can see that or not. Okay. Okay. Hot water overrun. So on an S and a Y plan system, you don't need any hot water overrun, okay? So you can zero minute that. What that basically means is it's the duration of time that after the hot water demand that the hot water motorized zone valve stays open for. On a normal S plan and Y plan system, uh, using the BDR91s, you don't need that to happen. So zero minutes is fine. The hot water differential, basically this is the temperature um, that the hot water set point temperature has to go below before the Evo Home controller will bring the, the heat, basically the, the boiler back on to charge the hot water cylinder back up, okay? So on a 60 degree set cylinder, it would have to go below 50 degrees with a 10 degree differential set before it would bring the hot water side back on, okay? I normally leave it at 10 degrees myself, okay? So after you've done that, if you exit, okay and exit again and then exit again if you're if then you go to hot water and you turn this to on press the green tick okay i'm going to press the red cross a moment but you press the green tick if you do that and you get the little red symbol come up here and you're still not getting the green light coming on the domestic hot water receiver within 30 seconds to a minute what you need to do is turn the power off to the receivers okay so the two the two uh, bdr91s that you'll have in place for a, a heating and hot water system turn the power off to them okay leave the power off for a couple of minutes turn the power back on okay and then try again so if you've turned it on and you've got the red cylinder here turn it back off press the green tick okay then wait a minute or so turn it back on again okay that should cure it. So I'll show you what should happen. So if you press it, go to on. Uh, if you put that to permanent, just to try it, okay? Green tick. What should happen pretty much instantly, as long as the temperature on the Eva Home Control is below the stored hot water temperature in the cylinder, this will come on, okay? Green light will come on. To try it again, okay? You go to your hot water again and just cancel what you've done. Cancel, green tick, okay? What you should happen, light on the receiver should go off okay um, other things to check as well is that with the receivers they must be as i've put on the table 
300 millimeters minimum distance away from each other. If you've got them closer, so if you've got them like this, like that, if you've got them installed like that, and same with the CS92A, if you've got the, if you've got them installed like that, they are not going to work. You must have these devices spaced. So this is the CS92A and the BDR91s. You must have them spaced a minimum, and this is a minimum of 300 millimeters away from each other. Also, 300 millimeters away from metallic objects, cylinders, copper pipe work, other uh, electrical devices, other wireless devices. If you don't do that, they will not work, okay? So this is really important to make sure these are correct, okay? But if everything's correct, all the devices are correctly spaced, you shouldn't have these issues. If you do have more issues, you can send us an email to technical at the evahomeshop.co.uk or post on the video below and we can try and assist you, okay? If you have any questions at all, always feel free you can, you can contact us. All right, I've been Richard and thanks for watching.